everybody, how's it going? Mark here. It's been uh, quite a while since I made a video, but uh, been rather rather busy. So I thought I'd make uh, make a little video and check in, let everybody know I'm still uh, still out there. And uh, it's just been a crazy uh, crazy busy uh, spring so far. This afternoon I'm enjoying a cigar, a uh, Carlos Torano. Uh, Casa Torano blend. Um, it was part of a wonderful uh, sample pack uh, that was uh, sent to me by uh, Matches860. John, thank you very much. This is the uh, the first one I've had of the pack, um, and uh, this is this is great. Uh, Carlos Torano, Casa Torano, which uh, from the write up that I read, it's Connecticut, Connecticut leaf. And it was uh, just recently released to the public, but it was what the uh, factory workers uh, smoked. And it wasn't origin or readily available to the public until recently, so it's, uh, it's a great, nice, mild cigar. Great here for a Sunday afternoon. Um, so yes, thanks again, John. Uh, very much, uh, very much enjoyed. Um, so yeah, what's been new with me? Uh, very busy uh, spring, uh, fishing season, um, yard work, things like that. Uh, I just came back yesterday. I was away for eight days uh, in through the back country of Nova Scotia, um, fly fishing for trout, uh, like uh, our annual uh, trip, camped out in the woods, and uh, weather was great. A couple days of snow, believe it or not, but. Uh, the mayfly, uh, the mayfly was on. Uh, we got the tail end of that. Uh, Caddis fly or stonefly was out. Uh, anyway, overall, uh, eight days backcountry uh, total was 122 trout. So uh, all on the fly rod. Um, out of those 122, I believe we ate uh, eight of them. Everything else was catch and release, and uh, just a wonderful trip. See no civilization uh, for eight days, so it was uh, it was great. And other than that, I've been fishing quite a bit. Also, uh, just uh, our uh, you know our brook brook trout, lake fishing, that kind of thing. And uh, now the black flies are starting to come out, so uh, fishing's going to go on hold for a little while. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it's been busy, and work's been busy. Uh, getting ready for, you know, spring, things like that. Uh, today I got the, the pool hooked up but not open. And uh, the lawn is mowed. Some lawn furniture is out, you know, things done. The shore sign of spring. The leaves should be uh, popping out on the trees here probably by the end of the week. And I just thought it would take uh, time to enjoy a cigar. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, I got a wonderful package from uh, Home Waters, uh, Olivier. And uh, there were some nice uh, tobacco samples for pipe tobacco, and uh, and a DVD movie that he made a copy for me of uh, Louis Tiante, who uh, was a well-known pitcher uh, back in the uh, 70s, 80s for uh, I guess be of course the Red Sox. He also played for like the Yankees, the Angels, and uh, he was a fond uh, cigar smoker from Cuba. Quite a story. And uh, after I did a little research, after I watched the uh, the movie, I come to find out uh, Tiante Cigars um, are uh, are out there. He launched just recently his own cigar company. And uh, I don't know uh, story. I just kind of came across, but a little close to my heart because he was a, a, a Red Sox uh, pitcher, and uh, his father was also a pitcher back in the Cuban leagues, and. Uh, so I'm going to try my darndest to track down uh, Tiante Cigar to try, although uh, from my research so far, I think it's all stateside. But uh, thank you very much, uh, Olivier, Home Waters 1. That was just an incredible documentary, and I'm going to watch it again. Very much appreciated. Amazing story. Even if you're not a baseball fan, I would highly recommend you uh, check out that uh documentary. Not a whole lot new uh, as far as uh, Pipe World goes. 
I haven't really smoked a pipe a whole lot lately, haven't had time, although on my trip I did. Um, but I haven't purchased any new blends. But there is some uh, big news on the uh, pipe front. I have a, when I came home yesterday, I had an email from uh, Giacomo, uh, and he has a pipe which I uh, requested last year, I believe. And uh, anyway, he made my pipe, he put a little video out there, and I'm just uh, thrilled to death. I can't wait to get. Uh, to get that pipe. Um, it's probably the uh, latest pipe purchase since the Hackerts. Um, I still have that Stanwell I got from uh, Home Waters One, which I have a nice Virginia uh, flake, which I'm waiting to, uh, to enjoy that at the right time, and I will be making a video on that. So I'm really excited to get that. It's like an acorn shape, uh, just, I don't know, something about, you know, you can buy a pipe in the store when you can put a face to the person that created that pipe and Giacomo is just a he's just a master craftsman and his heart goes into those pipes and I, I just can't wait to receive that pipe um, it's going to mean a lot so I'm looking forward to it Giacomo anyway I probably rambled on too long I'll try to get some time to uh to make some videos. That's another thing is my uh, my computer shit the bed. Lost everything. It's still at the shop now. They're trying to get some photos off it for me, but uh, it uh, it completely crashed. I've lost everything. Um, so I'm just kind of starting over again. Uh, I've yet to get my Apple, but uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm uh, yeah, lost everything on the computer. So. Uh, from now on, I guess I'm gonna have a little backup drive or something like that. So, anyway, uh, hope everyone's doing good out there. Cheers. Um, enjoy your pipes or cigars or whatever it may be, and uh, hope this uh, spring is treating everybody well. Cheers.